I think a short history lesson is in order. Now, I honestly cannot do this entire conflict justice in the short amount of time that I have. But I want to play a short clip of Golda Meir explaining how Israel came into possession of territories that it now holds in some territories like the Sinai Peninsula that Israel later gave up in exchange for a lasting peace with Egypt. So without further ado, here's the clip. If Hussein hadn't gone to war in 67, when he shouldn't have, when Eshkol asked him not to go to war, the West Bank would have been in his hands. If Assad hadn't gone to war, the Golan Heights would have been in Syria. If uh, Nasser hadn't gone to war in 67, the Sinai Desert and the Gaza Strip were in his hands. Where were the Palestinians then? And why do people, good people, tell us, if you had only some Israelis as well, if you had only gone back to the 67 borders after the war, then I always ask a foolish question, but I haven't heard one single wise answer. If the 67 borders are so holy, why was there a war in 67? All these territories were in the hands of Arab countries. This seems to be a theme, right? There's a border, let's say the 1947 borders that were drawn up by the United Nations, which the Palestinians and the Arabs, had they just abided by them, there would be more territory for the Palestinians today. But the outside Arab forces came in and they wanted to push the Jews into the sea and they got their asses kicked. And this happened again and again and again. They would invade, they would get their asses kicked, they would lose territory. And the Palestinians suffered because the outside Arab nations wanted to push the envelope. And now the Palestinian people are suffering again because of outside actors like Russia, Iran, and of course the general shittiness of Hamas has brought this down upon all the people that Hamas are using as human shields. I mean, so once again, the Palestinian people are suffering because of the aggressive actions of outside actors. Russia bankrolled this. There's intelligence for that. Russia sold Hamas, the Grad rockets, over 3,000 of them that they use to fire into Israel. If the United States lost the same percentage of its people that Israel did, then the United States would have lost over 35,000 of our citizens. There's no way that we would let this go. Hamas launched the rockets. They invaded the country. They were killing people just in cold blood, chopping people's heads off and raping people. And they knew Israel would respond, and now they're using 2 million Palestinians as human shields. Here's an example of how they're using a hospital as a shield. Hamas does not care about the Palestinian people. And to Palestinians who lost your lives, if, if you actually didn't want war and you just wanted to live your life, then I feel bad for your family and you. But this cannot be go unanswered. 